Father. We, be, we need to begin to pray to him and talk to him as father. Listen, if your earthly father will go to any extent to please and protect his favorite child, how much more would our heavenly father Defend us and come to our rescue. Amen. God has not forgotten you. God has not abandoned you. God is aware of your situation. God is aware of your challenge. God is aware of your pain, your tears, your hurt. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Listen, if you have never experienced pain in your life, you would know what I'm talking about. But after you've gone through it, or even in the midst of it, you can say, God, you are real. God, I see you turning the situation around. God, I see you restoring my son. God, I see you restoring my daughter. God, I see Jesus redeeming him, restoring him, raising him up, blessing him, anointing him to be a mighty man of God. I see Jesus doing it. Hallelujah. If you see Jesus doing it, then you can rejoice. On your 2020. Hallelujah. How many know our physical eyes will not allow us to see beyond our troubles? Your physical eyes will not allow you to see beyond the trouble that you are in. Are you there? Yes. Because these are designed for the physical. Yes. These are designed for the natural. Yes. To see the reports, to see the trouble, to see the trials, to see and to experience this three-dimensional world. Oh, but there is another reality. There is another reality. We have another father. When, when our earthly one can go no further, we have a spiritual father who has the final say. Your spiritual father has the final say. Your boss has told you no a thousand times. The banker has rejected you. Your situation has looked you in the face and defied you. So listen, I'm not going anywhere. You, I'm an alcoholic and I'll be one until I die. I'm a cheater, a schemer, and I'm unfaithful. And that's who you marry, I'll be like that until I die. Turn to your neighbor and ask them, what do you see? If you can see Jesus, you will be like him. Are you there? If you could see him, you will be like him. What does that mean? Is Jesus disturbed about your situation? When the disciples had, were on the boat and thought that they were going to die. The Bible said they saw Jesus. They thought it was a ghost. 
coming on the water. Peter says, if that's you, tell me to come. My God. If our picture of Jesus is a ghost, is fleeting. You know a ghost? Nobody sees a ghost all days. Are you there? You ever met anyone who, who walking around and say, listen, listen, look at this ghost. A ghost is a fleeting experience. You see it? What was that? A shadow. <laughs> It was a mist. It appeared to be real, but then when I check again, it's not real. That's how many of us perceive Jesus. He's a ghost. He comes one minute and he leaves the next. You call him, he doesn't respond. It's a ghost. But when you see Jesus, he releases his power so that you become like him. Jesus was walking on the water. Peter said, if that is you that I see, empower me to be like you. Jesus says, come. We will never have the ability to walk in the power of God until we see Jesus. Until we see him as the word of God. Until we see him as living, as alive, as real. Until we see him as father, until we see him as healer and deliverer and provider, we will never experience him. We have to see Jesus as his word and see the word as Jesus. Are you there? So whatever your experience may be, if you look into the word of God and embrace what God says about your situation, you begin to see Jesus, you begin to see the word, you begin to see the word of Jesus and his word. And if you see him, he will empower you to be like him. Amen. But if you see this person has no good, As wordless. A child, a spouse, this, that, as listen, get this out of my life. That's what we pray. You know anyone like that? You know what? Get this evil out of my life. How many of you were born good and was always good? Raise your hand. You see the hypocrisy? We condemn people who are in the same predicament that we were once in. My Lord. We condemn people who are doing the same evil that we once did. Are you there? If God changed you, if God gave you another chance, 
How many know we need to extend the same grace? Amen. Extend the same love. Extend the same mercy. Someone prayed for you. When you were a teenager walking around in your pom-poms. <laughs> on the street. Are you there? Someone prayed for you and travailed for you. They didn't pray, Lord, kill this one. Kill this. This one is fire. This one is heat. 